We are back on Ebro Today, and now for a recap of our top stories, here's Matt Locker with the latest. Matt. Good day, Frank, and good day to you. Thousands of Pakist Pakistanis staged violent protests Friday morning against an anti-Muslim film. The protest came as Pakistani leaders declared Friday a national holiday and called for a day of peace. Authorities say protesters burned down two movie houses in Peshawar, torching a toll booth and cars on major highways. A cable station reported that a driver for its film crew was shot in the chest and killed in the riots. Meantime, the U.S. government released television ads in Pakistan denouncing the American-made film. Australia's Deputy Prime Minister has weighed in on the U.S. election. Wayne Swan warns that the greatest threat to the U.S. economy are the cranks and crazies of the Republican Party. Swan, who also serves as Australia's Treasurer and Finance Minister, took aim at the Tea Party during a speech to a business forum on Friday. Swan broke convention among um, uh, Australia's major parties by injecting himself into American domestic politics. After a 25-year ban, America will begin allowing the Royal New Zealand Navy ships to visit U.S. military and Coast Guard facilities around the world. Speaking during a visit to Auckland, U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta says the change will promote better military ties between the two countries. New Zealand banned nuclear weapons from the country 25 years ago, so U.S. warships have not been able to enter its ports. And New Zealand ships were not allowed in U.S. military or Coast Guard ports.